Employees of Ellen DeGeneres are not impressed with her apology, especially after her first appearance on the show. Ellen DeGeneres' apology to her current and former talk show employees fell on Flat, fell flat on Monday, 21st September 2020. They have accused her of using their issues to pump up ratings, with one of them saying, not only did Ellen turn my trauma, turn our traumas into a joke, she somehow managed to make this about her. Oh, one wow. former employee told BuzzFeed News when she said, oh, my summer was great and that was supposed to be funny. I thought, it's not funny that you had a rough summer because everyone was calling you out for the allegations of your toxic work environment and now you're the one suffering what do you think do you think people are real overreacting i think people really do enjoy um when you are down i think people really yeah. enjoy that they want her to be it's, they've gone past i want you to be sorry mm. they want her to be in the state of i'm sorry forever and mm. ever so let's even change the narrative which i don't believe in but for for what it is um, she was toxic, yes, and she did this. She created this environment at work you that was really she... bad. No, I don't. But I'm just saying. Let's take that story, right? That she did what she did, and it was true and legit. That yeah, um, Ellen was part, of, a big player in making the environment toxic. All right, and then now she's seen that okay, it's wrong because people are coming out to obviously talk about it, and it's really serious. And she's hearing it from the horse's mouth really personally. I'm pretty sure they wouldn't have been able to say those things to her, which is why they took it to Buzzfeed, right? So she's heard it and blah, blah, blah. She's now, uh, like, she's been woke and she's sorry about it and she's moved on. And now she's moving, taking her show and she's moving on. What's the problem with that? So I don't understand why an apology one time is not enough that she's now making jokes and she's moving on with the show. You decided to go to BuzzFeed and talk about Ellen. You cannot tell me that you don't know that that would up the ratings. You, don't, you cannot tell me that that would not make what people to so want to go and... Unconsciously, you have been exactly, in Exactly, you're the one who did that. And it's still her life. It is still her, her business. Mm. Of course, she is going to want to use that opportunity to push even further. Like, I, I'm sorry, do you want her to cut herself, bring out blood and... Say I'm sorry and end the this show is my and sacrifice yeah you know dies. like you want her to basically <laughs> give give you her soul to say that she's up. See guy, move on with life. I'm sorry that you had a toxic environment. What if I get over it? Like it's not the end of the world. She says she's sorry. Move on. If you don't want to work there, go somewhere else. I'm pretty sure your talent if you could make it to Ellen. I'm pretty sure there'll be other people that you can work for. Ellen will work on what she needs to work on. Let's move on. I think that that's applicable to every sphere of life yeah. right people just feel like okay the fact that you've done them wrong one time and after you apologize mm. you have to remain you know yeah kissing, kissing their behind yeah. because you did them wrong dude yeah. i've apologized yeah. i've agreed them wrong so yeah. can we just get back to the way things were but they want you to stay stuck